All right, guys. So <clears throat> can't stress this enough. You're going to see these questions. Now, I got I got four questions uh, that deal with this odds ratio as well as the uh, relative risk. And you're guaranteed to see this on your on your step exams, okay? So all I did was I took this core question like this and changed whether I say odds ratio, relative risk, and then whether it was the, I put the no or the yes. And I'm just going to teach you throughout this video the, the four different scenarios. So no matter what they ask you on the step exam, you're going to get it right. But you got to understand this concept, and I can't stress this enough. Uh, I've made some short videos. Uh, that'll go through these problems quickly so that hopefully you can kind of just review those and it'll come second nature to you. So you got to be ready for the exam because I'm telling you it is coming. You're going to see this stuff. All right, so let's get started. It says, based on this data, what is the odds ratio for the development of this new disease in women who had n no children compared to women who had children? All right, so they're asking odds ratio. All right, and it says the prevalence of the new disease compared to two groups of women and two groups of women and the following data is obtained, Okay. So basically, there's women who had children, women who didn't have children, got the disease, didn't have disease. So they're giving you a two-by-two two table, okay? Standard. You're going to pull from this table whether it's going to be odds ratio, relative risk. Um, but the key is, which one do I which one do I put on top versus bottom? And you, you just can't memorize those formulas like in first aid and assume that this is box A, B, and all that kind of stuff, okay? I'm going to teach you how to do it uh, the proper way. So you got to go back to and say, we got two types of study that they test on, case control and cohort, okay? Case control is associated with the word odds ratio. Cohort is relative risk. So when I say case control, you say odds ratio, one number over one number. When I say cohort, you say relative risk, one number over two. Now, what I mean by that is if you do look at the formulas, It'll say odds ratio. I'm just going to use letters to represent numbers. One number over one number. Then it's divided by one number over one number. Relative risk, one number over two. And then that's the key. Okay, that's the key. Now, the thing you have to ask is, well, what goes on top? Okay, whatever is mentioned first. Now, here's what I mean by that. Based on this data, what is the odds ratio? So now we're doing this. We're talking one number over one number here. Uh, for the development of a new disease in women who had no children compared to, that means divided by, okay, for our purposes, women who had children. So what came first? Women who had no children, okay? So women had no children. So this box is A, B, C, D, okay? Now, if they would have said in a, another question you'll see here in a second, if they would have said children first and then no children second, then I would have put A here, okay? But the fact is, who had no children compared to or divided by people who had children. So this goes on top, this goes on bottom. And since it's odds ratio, it's one number over one number. So let's just plug it in. We plug and chug, right? One number, so A is going to be 50 over one number, 1450, divided by or compared to women who had children, 200 over 1800. Okay, you see the difference? One number over one number. I did this because it's odds ratio. Now, if I were to just to kind of reduce this down, um, geez, uh, 29, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 9. So I get 9, 29, uh, 0.31. Answer choice is A. Okay, you see that one? So now let's look at another problem. I'm, all I'm gonna do is change this word or this, this pattern here, okay? Very key. Same question, yet this one reads, based on this data, what is the odds ratio for women who, for the women, for the development of this new disease in women who had children compared to, divided by, women who had no children, okay? So again, uh, if it was case control associated with odds, ratio, cohort, relative risk, odds ratio, one number over one number, cohort, relative risk, one number over two. Now in this situation, you ask yourself, well, it's odds ratio, so I know it's this guy, one number over one number, but then I did, what, how do I label these boxes, right? First aid always does it this way. No, you have to go whatever they mention first. In this situation, they said women who had children had children compared to or divided by 
women who had no children. So what goes on top? The ones who had children. So this is A, B, C, D. So this is going to be 200 over 1800 compared to or divided by people who had women had no children. So on bottom goes the no children, uh, 50 over 1450. And again, you kind of you start getting the hang of this uh, division out stuff or canceling out. Uh, 129, and so we get 29 over 9, and it's going to be our 3.2. Uh, okay, so very simple. So let's do it ag again, okay? Now this time, look what we did. We said, based on this data, what is the relative risk, okay, for the development of, of this new disease in women who had children compared to, or divided by, who had no children? So just for the sake of completeness, we have case control, and then we have a cohort. If I say case control, you say odds ratio. One number over one number. Co uh, cohort associated with the word relative risk, one number over two. So then you say, well, okay, I'm dealing with relative risk, so I know it's one number over two, but what goes on top? Well, what did they mention first in the question? For the development of a new disease, who women who had children, who had children compared to women who had no children. So what goes on top? Women who had children. So box A, B, C, D. So, now with that being said, we're dealing with this stuff. It's one number over two. So we got 200 over 200 plus 1800 divided by or compared to women who had no children. 50 over 50 plus 1450. Now, they're nice and they gave you these numbers, okay? So I, should, I could have just went straight to that, for the, but for the sake of what we're trying to accomplish here, uh, I'm gonna just get, kind of slow it down and do all the little details. So we can cancel all this stuff out, 130, um, one over 10. Anyways, uh, it's gonna come to, it's gonna boil down to, if you flip it, whatever math you, style that you learned in high school or whatnot, correct answer choice is gonna be uh, C, okay? But again, relative risk, one number over two, what goes on top, whatever they mentioned first, then divided by the other one. Okay, so it's yes over no. Uh, okay, answer choice was C. Now the last one, the last scenario, okay? It's like this. Uh, all it is, relative risk, so just for, to, to bore the mess out of you, okay? Uh, case control associated with odds ratio cohort relative risk odds ratio one number over one number relative risk one number over two okay it's relative risk so I know I'm here it's one number one number but how do I label these boxes which one did they mention first for the development of this new disease in women who had no children compared to or divided by Women who had children, so that goes on bottom. This goes on top, that goes on bottom, because they mentioned no first. It goes on top. So this is A, B, C, D. This is why you can't memorize first aid. If you do it this way, you're going to get them right every time. Otherwise, it's a coin flip, guys. If you just mention it the other way, you're, it, it's a total 50-50 shot. And that's if you know how to work the problem from there, even. All right? So it's relative risk. No children goes on top. And it's you know, it's 50 plus 1450, so it would be 1500. And then uh, on the bottom, it's going to be uh, 200 plus 200 plus 1800, which is 2000. Okay. And so we get 1 over 30, and then we get uh, 110. And then this is going to, uh, you know, one third point three three. Okay. Answer choice B. But you can see, guys, this is the only way they're going to ask it. They're going to they're going to ask you relative risk or cohort. Uh, they may even mention not give you this and say it's a case control study or a cohort, and then you have to assume that you're finding odds ratio or relative risk. But this is the key. This is where everybody gets tripped up. They don't know what to put on top. They don't know how to label the box. But if you just review this video, look at those short uh, videos, you'll get them right every time. And it's guaranteed you're going to see it, guys. You might as well get the problem right on the exam. Hope it's helpful.